Welcome to the Without God series, part one, Solving Global Hunger. I think it is of the utmost importance and constructiveness that if we strive to and succeed in disproving God and show that he doesn't exist, we also should concern ourselves with showing humanity that we don't need deities and supernatural entities to answer the needs and wants that are often prayed for. If one eliminates God, who never was to begin with, it is humane that we fill that void with practical solutions to what kept mankind needing God for all these millennia, and that is the problems, hopes, fears, dreams, and lacks that we ascribed, prayed, sacrificed, praised, and worshipped those gods for and to in order that they may answer those problems, fears, lacks, etc. In this installment of Without God, I would try to lay out a practical solution to a long sought after dream of humanity, and that is the end to global hunger. Although the solution is not feasible at the present time, it is very much within our purview such that we don't need to resort to the religious crutch of hoping God does it, but instead mankind can rely on the greatness of his reason and intelligence to do for himself and find answers from within. One of the solutions to solving global hunger is the use of nanotechnology. Real briefly, nanotechnology is the willful manipulation of matter at the atomic level to create better and entirely new materials, devices, and systems. The main unifying theme of nanotechnology is the control of matter on a scale smaller than one micrometer, normally between 1 and 100 nanometers, as well as the fabrication of devices on this same length scale. There are three key ways nanotechnology can help us solve the problem of global hunger. Number one, nanosensors for DNA testing. The potential development of nanosensors for DNA testing will allow agriculture specialists to understand and manipulate plant genetics better. If mankind can control plant genetics better with nanosensors, we can develop plants which require less water, can grow in harsh conditions, and even use salt water instead of fresh water. Being able to have plants grow in harsh conditions is huge since it will increase overall crop yields if we don't have to grow in only arable healthy fields. In fact, that is one of the biggest ways to solve global hunger, which is to increase food growing hectares without being constrained to specific types of land. Instead of fields being left fallow, they can be reused in this amazingly powerful scenario. Number two, economic. The second way now technology can solve global hunger is through greater economic efficiency with the help of the previously mentioned nanosensor technology. If we can grow crops irrespective of arable quality, we can grow our food closer to market which will significantly reduce food prices and transportation costs, making food more affordable for second and third world countries and allowing them to have a larger intake of agricultural supplies. Number three, improved packaging. The third way nanotechnology can help us solve global hunger is to improve food packaging. This helps by allowing food to stay viable for a longer period of time and improves aggregate global yields by decreasing aggregate waste. Specific ways this can be done is to improve through nanotechnology, tensile strength, thermal stability, and detection of biohazards with nanofibers. This concludes part one of how we can rely on the greatness of mankind to solve our problems, in this case global hunger, without having to rely on prayers to a god or a need to leave it in some deity's hand. I will follow this up with another short video on ways we can solve global hunger with the ingenuity of mankind through the emerging power of nanotechnology. I hope this video was in some way eye-opening and enlightening about our future prospects and ability to solve one of our most intractable problems.